viewers this is just Spec network tv a home of accurateness and correct news for those who subscribe I want to say a big thank you to every one of you we say god bless you and if you're yet to do so please kindly press the subscription button below and now the news in details buhari in closed door meeting with security chiefs over in security in nigeria barely 24 hours after the national assembly has for the sack of the security chiefs president muhammad buhari is currently presiding over National Security Council meeting at the Presidential Villa Abuja. Among those in attendance as a secretary to the government of the Federation SGF, Boss Mustafa, Chief of Staff to the President Abaka Yari, Minister of Defense, Man General Bashar Saliu, Minister of Interior Rahuf Aregbeshola, and the National Security Advisor, Man General Babangana Mongudo. Service chiefs in attendance include the Chief of Defense Staff, General Gabriel Odi Olodi Shaki, Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Chuko Burauta, Chief of Year Staff, Hier Masha Sadiku Abubaka, Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, Director General of the National Intelligence Agency, Ahmed Rafael Abubaka, and the Director General of the Directorate of State Services, DSS, Yusuf Bagaji Bichi. The agenda of the meeting, which started about 10 a.m., was not disclosed. It was reliably gathered that the meeting may not be unconnected with the worsening insecurity situation across the country. Recall that President Buhari, while hosting eminent citizens of Niger State on Tuesday, had expressed frustrations at the increasing security threat in the country. President Buhari had said that what is happening now was for beyond just insurgency, which was the case in 2015 when he took office, but an evil plot against the peace of the country, he said. I was taken aback by what is happening in the Northwest and other parts of the country during our campaigns. We knew about the Boko Haram. What is coming now is surprising. It is not ethnicity or religion, rather, it is one evil plan against the country. We have to be harder on them. One of the responsibilities of government is to provide security. If we don't secure the country, we will not be able to manage the economy pro properly. Wow, guys, so what do you think? Because look at what he said here. I like what he said here because he said a he even mentioned that if we don't secure the country, we will not be able to manage the economy properly. Absolutely right. Because if the country is not well sec secured, what is the management there? It is, it is, it is, uh, President Muhammad Ibrahim is absolutely right in what he said. But according to what we know, that uh, all these things they have been meeting over and over again in the country. But at the end of the day, the security situation keeps getting worse by the day, every blessed time. That is the problem we are facing. This is not the first time that we we'll hear them say that they are, they are having a meet, meeting about security. This is not the first time, neither is it the second time. Because to me, I believe that if they can change their system, if they can change their service chips, and the security teams maybe the, the, the security in the state will improve because things are getting worse to my people here and now they are saying that they have closed dormitory all the time closed dormitory today closed dormitory tomorrow and still everything has been the same everything has been like that the president has always been having this with the security chief since his inception as Nigeria president, and yet no positive strategies has ever been made to curb the insecurity that has put every Nigeria into fear. In a decent climate, the president would true with true in the towel, but in a country like ours, such ideas is not visible. 
So may God bless, may God help our country. May God continue to help us in this country because things are not going well, except if we just want to lie to ourselves. Things are not working well at all, at all. Because I don't know why they cannot even find solution to this issue of Boko Haram. I don't know why they can't find solution to this issue of eight men killing innocent people all around. I don't know why they can't find solution to the issue of insecurity in the country. Why? Why? Can't they look at other countries? Can't they look at what they are doing? Can't they even cultivate their their activities? It, it is not about them traveling everywhere alone. At least they should see the way people are doing over there. Because our Nigerians are suffering under their care. They are really suffering. Hardship everywhere. Things are so hard. And to even to spoil the matter, our lives are no more secure in the States. Even the lives of our family and our loved ones are no more secured. And now they will keep saying that they are having close meeting, close meeting. How many close meetings would they have every day? They keep on having close meeting. You know, because my advice to the president is just to sack all of them. And have a new person, a new set of person. Because it shows that the people that are there already, they are not functioning well. And he should find a new set of peace people. Because the country is not in peace right now. The crime is getting worse and worse every day. You know, it's just a pity to start hearing this, all this, all this every day. It's just a pity. So guys, what is your whole take? What is your own opinion about this news? Can you drop your comments in the comment section below? And for those who subscribe, I want to say a big thank you to every one of you. We say God bless you for subscribing. Thank you so much. I'll see you on our next video. Bye.